So I got asked a great question the other day on TikTok. Someone commented asking to get better at the guitar, should I focus on learning songs or should I practice boring exercises is how they asked it. Now that is a great question and I wanted to kind of take the opportunity to explain the approach that I take with my students where you can actually kind of do both and make it really fun to hone your technique and to build up your playing. So if you are practicing a lot of exercises that you do find boring, which there are plenty of them out there, then I do think there's a much better approach where you can have a lot more fun, it can be more motivating to practice, and in the end, it actually sounds so much better. There's tons of exercises out there to practice your technique that don't sound great. You know, you can spend hours a day just going, Now again, those techniques are great to practice at a certain time and I believe a certain level of playing. If you're a more beginner to intermediate guitar player, that's not going to be very motivating to practice. If someone comes over to your house and says, oh, you're learning guitar, play me something that you're working on and you go, oh yeah, yeah. They're probably going to be like, yeah, that sounds great, keep it up. <laughs> where instead if you can actually play a riff or something that sounds fun and musical, it's gonna be so much more rewarding. So the approach I take with my students is we actually do work a lot on technique, but in a more indirect way. So what I mean by that is no matter what technique you want to improve on, there's usually good songs to practice that work on that technique. So for example, if you wanted to practice uh, switching your bar chords, instead of me just giving you an exercise of say, okay, play me a B minor chord, and then play me an E chord and go back and forth between the two endlessly and just sit there for 20 minutes going. Now I do think that's effective and that will work, but it's a lot more fun if I give you some Beatles songs that work on switching between bar chords and open chords. And at the end of the day, if you work on it and now you can play help, for example, it's a lot more rewarding and it sounds great. So let's say you want to work on alternate picking. I'd probably start you off with Thunderstruck. I have to be careful not to play too much of it because of the copyright. <laughs> but I would probably start you off with Thunderstruck and then maybe work up to using a song like Technical Difficulties by Racer X. And again, these are exercises, so we would play them much slower than that, but it's a great right hand exercise. Or even something like using Master of Puppets, but alternate picking it to work on your right hand technique. And then I would probably work you up to doing something like Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. That's a terrific right hand exercise that he slash actually wrote that as a picking exercise. So it's very effective. Say you want to work on tapping. Instead of just giving you some tapping exercise to work on, I would probably show you the progression of eruption. To work on the technique of tapping and then maybe do the intro to the Crazy Train solo. At the end of the day, that's so much more fun to practice. You can hear the song that you're playing. Again, it's much more rewarding that way. Let's say you want to work on even more advanced techniques like sweep picking. It's going to be a lot more fun to learn a piece of a Jason Becker song than just uh, an arpeggio exercise that I come up with. So just to be clear, I do think exercises have their place in your practice routine. And I do think they're very important. I've spent countless hours practicing exercises of all kinds. And I always used to kind of joke that the better the exercise uh, for working on your technique, the worse it sounds, because there's a lot of those. Great technique builder sounds terrible, and you would never really want to play that for anybody. <laughs> so I think if you are more of an intermediate to advanced player, I think it's very important to spend part of your practice time working on exercises to kind of hone your technique. But again, if you are more a beginner to intermediate, it's a lot more fun to work on songs that use those techniques 
than to spend a lot of time on exercises that you find boring or they may not be motivating to practice that's completely okay you can find stuff that is it's going to make you want to pick up the guitar every day which ultimately is the most important thing that's what's going to improve your playing the most this is usually where having a teacher would be a big benefit just because they would know a library of music that works on different techniques no matter what you're trying to improve on it's hard to know by yourself of which songs to choose to work on certain techniques if you have any songs that you like to practice to work on certain techniques let us know in the comments below that way we have even more ideas to practice if you found this video helpful hit the like button and subscribe for more lesson content and keep up the practice